having trouble running in Madden 24? Help me! Help me! In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the five best run plays to use in the entire game. And the best part is they can all be found in one playbook. Psych! <laughs> So if you want to see what explosive new run plays I'm using to get results like this, what? He could go all the way. Stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Snip the Mad Cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to go over my top five run plays in the entire game of Madden 24. And the best part about it is they're all found in one playbook. And that's my brand new Baltimore Ravens offensive ebook, which I just finished and put out. If you guys need more help, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. Typically, whenever I do these, uh, you know, full breakdowns of videos of offenses, I try to put out a top five glitch routes from all the different plays that I found in the formation while I was labbing the book. But since the Ravens are one of the best running playbooks in the game, and I really feel like running is the meta right now, I'm going to save that video for a little later down in the uh, future because I still want to put that out. But make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you guys still want to see that. Now, the first two plays I'm going to show you guys are going to come from gun formations, and that's because this has some of the best gun formation runs in the entire game starting with probably what is my favorite run in the gun y off tree a week and when i say it's my favorite run i don't mean it's my favorite run in this video or my favorite run in the ravens playbook i mean it's probably my favorite run play in the entire game and that play is a play that i put out in previous years called the buck sweep for this play you're typically going to want to put your fastest running back to running back position and you're typically going to want to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field or whatever side of the field is most open and that's because you're going to get a lot of success on this play by stretching it out as wide as possible based off the fact that you have two pulling guards on this play if you look at the diagram you can see that both guards are pulling and unlike a lot of other uh, toss plays where you have a lot of pulling guards these seem to do a much better job of targeting who they're supposed to you know actually block to get you to the edge and make sure that you're getting a lot of successful large carries now the one distinction though is you don't necessarily want to sprint to the edge and a lot of times you could also cut it off and round it off short for a big carry but you also want to make sure that if you have uh, a lot of defensive players that are basically coming out to the edge with you that you're going to want to try to just go around all them this is the type of run where it's a lot like a stretch run you're going to want to go around this run play and this formation just like all the formations and run plays i'm showing you today i have plans to make game plays about all of them this particular formation has one of the better passing plays in the game in the pa post dig shot because this play here is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game so if you guys want to see game plays or full breakdowns of any of these offenses as i typically try to put out full breakdown videos on fridays uh, make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section I plan on putting out uh, breakdowns of all of them. Now, the reason I showed the buck sweep out of this formation first is because my second favorite play is also similarly a buck sweep style play. And that's out of the gun wing slot week. Now, this play here, this formation is in about five or six different playbooks. But the play I'm going to show you is only in one. And that is the Baltimore Ravens. And that play is the buck sweep read option. Along with another pass play, the Raven double post, which is only found the Ravens as well. And is one of my favorite pass plays in the game. So once again, if you want to see a full breakdown or you want to see game plays and these offenses, let me know in the comment section. When it comes to this play here, you can make a pre-snap read if you see a man coverage or a man zero style blitz. Where you can see here, we have both cornerbacks in front of the two receivers on the left side that's one of the benefits of this formation is if you have a man coverage you can't expose it as there's now no defensive players out here to hold down this edge so if you see it look like this you can just treat this play like a buck sweep and hold the a button from the start and try to sprint this outside as wide as possible and get a very positive run just about every single time although that guy did do a good job of holding me down but typically you want to run this from the center of the field because you really have two wide looping options to both sides with the running back and the quarterback. So on this play here, you're going to want to watch the re-defender. we got a pretty tight packed box here, but if we watch that our defender and make our decision based off of what he does, we're going to have a big play every single time if we make the right decision. Now, if you get a look where the defensive end crashes in like this, you're going to want to keep it with the quarterback. It's really that simple. And you can see that you can have a very big run play. A lot of people will set their option defense to conservative to focus on the quarterback. 
So if you see this look, it's not a big deal because you still have the ability to run around the entire defense and have very consistent plays to the running back. Now, those last two run plays are pretty rare because they're outside run plays and gun formations, which you don't typically see in the game. But the next couple of plays that I show to end this video will all be out of pistol formations as this particular playbook has two of the best pistol formations in the game in the strong and the strong slot as they're pretty identical with the exception of where the outside receiver is located. Here he's on the outside where here he's in the slot. I'm going to show you several run plays from these two formations starting with probably what's the most explosive and that is the jet touch pass as this particular play has more blocking than just about any jet sweep play in the entire game much more blocking than your traditional which would be something like a jet pass fake zone where you have the running back doing a fake run play while the receiver takes the end around on this play you don't have that fake run instead the running back is a blocker giving you much more blocking for this play so on this particular play you're going to make sure you have your fastest receiver or your best playmaking receiver at this spot here in the slot who's handling the ball you're also going to make sure that you run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field as you'll want a lot of run room to the edge once again it's pretty much all the run plays i've shown you are run plays designed to attack the edge and you can see how even though there i didn't even wait for the fullback to get upfield it's still a very big play while the running back is an important lead blocker he's also optional as sometimes you'll be able to out sprint him but here you see there's a defender that has me cut off so i have to wait for that running back to engage that block and now you can see i have nothing but freedom and space to this outside here so if you run into a player that likes to spam man zero blitz or they like to think that they help them stop the run this is going to be one of your best options as it's really one of the easiest ways to beat man zero blitz by simply just running around it with the receiver receivers like quarterbacks do have a higher chance of fumbling so you can always set your ball care to conservative once again if you're going to run these type of plays just remember that you will lose the ability to juke and spin and do stuff like that as well the next run play is in this very formation as we also have a very good triple option now triple options are something that can be difficult for people to run but i'm going to show you guys how to run this play properly this is another play we're going to want to make the right substitutions as i'm going to want to have my fastest running back at the tailback spot and a good powerful pounding running back at the fullback spot as they're both an option to get the ball now there's two reads you have to make on triple option plays the first is the read defender and the second is the pitch defender which are both uh represented with an r and a p above their head for the read defender if the defensive end drops back like he did there i gotta hold a and hand it off and when i do i want to swing wide in the left direction you can see he drops out here because he's going to wait for the quarterback the other look will be aggressive where he crashes in on the handoff and makes it to the point where I have to keep with the quarterback. Now in that play, you can see that the uh, the second defender also crashed in immediately on the quarterback. So making that read, you can see that this guy here crashes in, meaning I have to keep with the quarterback. And then I have the second defender, the pitch defender, coming straight for the quarterback. So this is your second look. If he comes straight at the quarterback like this, you have to pitch it out. Luckily, I got it out through contact. And you can see at that point, once again, there's nobody out here. If you make those two reads correctly, you have nothing of space for a very big carry every single time but if you get that look where the pitch defender doesn't react keep it with the quarterback as long as possible as you can see here he wasn't decisive if the pitch defender does commit at any time you always have the option to pitch it back to the running back but you can see a lot of times they'll trail and they'll be in the pitch lane this is the look of him playing the running back so if they're playing the running back you're going to want to keep it with the running with the quarterback as long as possible but you can see how the pitch could also bail you out in a lot of situations as you really get some pretty favorable animations but don't take that for granted as a lot of times Sometimes making the wrong decision can result in a fumble as you can see if you pitch too early or too late and the defender gets in the way it can cause a turnover so be cautious of that i'm going to stay in the strong slot one more time and i'm going to integrate an rpo play which is one of the hardest plays to stop in madden 24 right now as rpo plays are some of the best plays in the game this is another play where you're going to want to have options on both sides so you're going to want to run this from a hash mark towards the center as you can really throw or run this ball and have a lot of success if you have a man coverage the slant it's going to be one of the better plays and if you have a zone coverage the the b route flat is going to be one of the better plays this here looks like an obvious man coverage based off of how many people are in the box so i know right away pre-snap that i can more than likely throw it to this slant and get at least close to 10 yards if not a catch and run for a very big play making this a very good short yardage run or a short yardage uh, play in general you can also throw if you can see right here like the linebacker is way too close to the line of scrimmage i can make a pre-snap read right away and throw it out to this flat and get a 
catch and run once again. But if you have a look like this, where there's nobody to the outside to maintain what's most likely a very easy run to the edge, this is going to be a scenario where it's very easy to just keep it with the stretch, which automatically hands off so you don't have to worry about holding any buttons. So I can either make a pre-snap read, which like I said, right here, not a lot of guys to the outside. So this is a good scenario to try to run it to the outside, or I can make that read after the fact by watching the slot defender. Other than that, I'll have the Niners glitch routes video popping up that I put out a couple weeks ago. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.